Now on today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the ignition coil pack. Okay, so the tools you'll need for this project is a ratchet, an adapter for a 7mm socket, a dielectric grease, an electronic cleaner, and an ignition coil pack. Before you begin, make sure you wear your protect the gloves and your protect... Fuck this shit! Most importantly, before you begin, make sure you disconnect the battery terminal cables. The negative, then the positive. Always. Negative first, then positive. Afterwards, when you put it back, you put the positive, then the negative. Got the negative out, and the positive, just keep it in between the two holes right there. So the ignition coil pack is located right here. Just behind here. Four screws. One, two, three, and four in the back. And you have a, a connector right here. So here's the most important part. Do not mix the firing order. On the engine, the firing order is one, two, three, four, five, six on that location one two three four five six now on the coil it's going to be a little different the wires that's connecting from one two three it's going to connect like this one two three now four five six number four will be over here number five will be over here and the last one number six will be in the middle so it's one two three four five six so the first steps you want to remove the wire just squeeze and lift up be careful not to damage this so once you got all the wires out you go ahead and remove the connect cable push it to the side and then you use your ratchet and start unscrewing these screws and when you remove these the first two top make sure you keep these and push them to the side same thing with this that wire right there it's look like a ground cable just push that to the side don't let it fall in once you got all the screws out just lift it up take it out look at this this is the old one this is the new one the reason why I changed this is because I had a trouble code and it was a misfire on cylinder one so Look how in bad shape this is. It's rusted. It's cracked. Look at this. It doesn't even have the gasket. Gasket or grommet, whatever you want to call it. This is real bad. It's cracked here too. If you can see. Well, this is in prestige shape. No crack. No rust. Brand new. So before you want to put everything back in reverse order, what you should do is clean out the connector with an electronic cleaner. A couple of sprays in there will be good. So you have done that, you just put the new one back in. Tighten the screws hand tight, not too tight. Now reconnect the electronic cable. For installing the spark plug wires, what I recommend you should be doing is greasing this up with dielectric grease. Just a little bit. So the next time when you need to change the wires, it'll come out easily. It won't get jammed in there or break. And what you want to do is take the dielectric grease and squeeze just a little bit, a small amount, on the metal contact. Then you use the rest, you spin it around on the middle. You can use your fingers, you can use a Q-tip, whatever you feel comfortable with. Make sure your fingers are not filthy dirty with debris and whatnot. And you do that to all the rest of the wires before reinstalling them. Once that's done, and it'll look like this, not too caked up, but nicely lubricated. Now you just go ahead and start reinstalling the spark plug wires. And remember to the correct firing order. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and don't forget to connect the positive back tying it up here and connect the negative and there you have it you have just replaced a new ignition coil pipe job well done so if you like today's video give me a thumbs up and subscribe if not just give me a middle finger